Hey everyone, it's Wes Tate with Bella Canvas. Today, we're at the Gerber Technology Innovation Center in New York City to partner with Corny Digital and Gerber. In Gerber's end-to-end -end micro factory, we'll get a special inside look at the latest advancements in fashion and apparel printing. Corny is one of our trusted partners for DTG Printing. We work with them to test our products and make sure we're creating the best blanks for you to print on. Gerber technology is actually used in the making of Bella Canvas products. From their pattern making software AccuMark, which we use to create our silhouettes, to their automated digital cutting machines. Back in Los Angeles, we use these cutting machines to cut all Bella Canvas products. In fact, we have the largest garment cutting floor in the Western Hemisphere. We're also partnering with these companies today because of our commitment to sustainability. If you followed us for a while, you know how Bella Canvas is pushing for change in the apparel industry. If you'd like a refresh on how we're being different, I'll leave a link to our Us versus Them series in the description below. With Corny and Gerber's advancements in technology, the future of the retail and fashion industry will become more efficient and sustainable. In today's video, we'll be getting a look at Corny's latest advancements, which is the new Presto system allowing for direct-to-fabric printing. You've most likely heard of DTG printing where ready-made shirts are loaded onto a printer and the artwork is printed directly on the garment. Likewise, direct-to-fabric printing is printed directly to the roll of fabric, not just the ready-made shirt. This process cuts down on the usage of garment dye and ink used in the manufacturing. Sit tight. To demonstrate the power of all three companies, Bella Canvas, Cornet, and Gerber Technology, we're giving you an exclusive start to finish look at making a shirt. Starting from the fabric all the way to the final product. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and click on that bell icon. That way you never miss new content just like this. Well, it all starts with fabric and the patterns being used. So we're going to talk to Tori Lowitz, Bella Canvas's VP of Design to talk about just this. Let's go. Tori, thank you so much for joining me. We are on the backside of the Corny Presto system here. We have some fabric that is loaded into the feeder. Let's just talk about what we have going on here today. What kind of fabric have you sent over? Well, we provided our 100% heirloom comb cotton. It's ring spun. Our 100% heirloom comb cotton, one of the processes is to take out all of the debris that comes from the cotton plant uh, before the yarn is spun. And then we knit fabric, which also goes through another series of special procedures for us to sort of get the cleanest and the, and the smoothest surface possible. So any of our 100% heirloom comb to ring spun cotton, it's coming from this fabric? Absolutely, it's the same fabric. Talk to me more about the preparation of this, adding the gum that you mentioned, yeah. and why we had to do that. Trim and gum is uh, taking off the selvage where there's usually staples that hold down uh, fabric in the knitting process and those staples have been trimmed off and then in addition we added a small taping or gumming as they say, it's like a small a light glue and it helps keep the fabric nice and taut and flat. So okay. when it's going through this feeding process, it doesn't curl towards the center. So you want to be able to get your prints all the way to the edge. At this stage, uh, we'll be able to do what's called an all-over print or a repeat print okay. in a target space, like uh, within a defined uh, dimension, basically a, the dimension of a t-shirt. Uh, and the patterns will be loaded through the process, so we'll be able to see specific prints on specific areas of the garment and the fabric without a lot of waste. Okay. That's really what this is about. Thanks for talking to me, Tori. Thank you, Wes. I'm gonna head over to Elizabeth and Keegan and we're gonna talk about the actual designs and the AccuMark system to be able to actually go to the printer. Fantastic, looking forward to it. We're here in the product development room. I'm here with Elizabeth and Keegan. I want you guys tell us, yeah, what's going on? I'm Elizabeth King. Yes. Uh, good to meet you. Nice I'm you. the, the um, uh, Vice President of Digital Strategy here with Gerber Technology, Lectra, and Keegan. And I'm Keegan Sirwinski. I'm the Innovation Center Manager, so I run everything that goes on in this facility from the design all the way through to the finished product. Well, first of all, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Yeah, thank you. And we're excited to work with you on this project, um, putting images onto your patterns and making markers and uh, really utilizing fabric well and sending it all the way through to finished product in a matter of minutes. Yeah, I'm excited to see how everything comes together. So what I have on the screen right here is some of the original artwork. 
We've got this image here um, and it's Montreon. It has Bella Plus on it and this will be used on the front of the shirt okay and then i have the same image but with the word canvas on it and a few different colors embedded as well and that's going to go on the back of the of the t-shirt okay so let's take a look and i noticed they're just big squares they right are now, it's just the artwork okay right now that was just the artwork so now you see the actual pattern in gerber technologies accumark which is a pattern making cad system CAD is computer-aided design. Okay. And so we have the front of the t-shirt, the back of the t-shirt, a couple of sleeves, and a neckband. Okay. So all the pieces that you need to sew a t-shirt together. Great. So I really wanted to show you here, this is the unique combination. You could never buy this in yardage on okay. a, on a pre-printed roll of fabric because you have four distinct um, colorways and surface designs here on four t-shirts two long sleeves two short sleeves we've we've ended up with 81.28 um, percent utilization on wow. fabric that's fantastic yeah this is great to see i love to see that we're using as much material as we can mm -hmm. here absolutely okay so we have this and the next step is to send it to the printer Okay, I'm here with Tim. Now we're in front of the Cornet Presto. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do at Cornet? Absolutely. So uh, my job at Cornet is application specialist for our director fabric line of uh, printers. Um, basically, at the end of the day, I'm arriving on customer sites to train them to become the most empowered customer that they can be, uh, make them as comfortable with the new technology that we're introducing to their shops. There's already something out there called sublimation for getting all over prints. Right, right. So how is this different from sublimation? And so, why is that? Yeah, important? typically on sublimation, you have to there's a lot of paper that's involved. So the, the process is basically you're printing on the paper first. Right. Right. After that's been printed, it goes over to a heat press where it's then transferred over onto the fabric. Right. Now some of the limitations there is that you're you're only like constricted to polyesters. Right. Natural cottons are very difficult to work with. Um, some of the other drawbacks to sublimation is something as simple as a shift in, on your um, temperatures. Okay. Right. A five or ten degree shift on temperature will change color completely. Oh wow. So it's very hard to control your color output in some cases if you're having issues with your dryer or if there's inconsistencies in that process. Um, so what we're doing is directly placing the pigment onto the fabric. Talk to me a little bit how Directive Fabric is fitting into Cornet's sustainability initiatives. Yeah, so Cornet's enabling uh, sustainability through our water-based pigment inks, and we're basically trying to eliminate all water waste and overproduction. You're only going to print what's been ordered. You're not going to you're not going to print a 50-yard job with the hopes that somebody at some point is going to find that pattern appealing enough to purchase. Right. Right. So you're not stocking your shelves with just a bunch of uh, you know, unpopular prints at the time. Cool, thank you so much for showing me all that. It's really cool to see it all printed out and I can't wait to see the final product. Awesome, thanks Wes. We're here with Keegan again. We have our printed fabric and now we're moving on to the cutting uh, section, I assume. Uh, so as you saw when we were doing our software demonstration earlier, we're using our software in a little bit different way for this workflow process. Instead of sending the cut files directly to the cutter, we're actually saving those as a one to one PDF file okay. by creating using batch processing to nest multiple orders together to give you your, fi your highest fabric utilization. Okay. So that's what's allowing us to use this fabric so you can put multiple orders and then you can bundle differently through that. And how does this machine even know what to cut? So basically this machine works off digitizing. So what it does, there's no cut file to go in, there's no registration marks, there's nothing like that. It's actually taking on the fabric. This is gonna be taking pictures as the fabric's coming onto okay. the cutter bed. And once it gets fully on, you're just gonna see it process itself on the computer 
Uh, currently, back in Los Angeles, we use the Paragon cutter on our cutting floor to cut all of our Valley Canvas products. Is that what this machine is, or is this a different one? No, so this is a totally different machine. This machine actually cuts one ply at a time, and this is what allows us to have that more on-demand manufacturing okay. than mass manufacturing. So each piece you produce here or cut on this machine is usually sold or customized to a certain individual okay. itself. So this is a more sustainable way of manufacturing. You're also eliminating plastic use, paper use and everything around that aspect. So we have all of our cut pieces now uh, for our shirt, so what's next? These cut pieces are picked up and brought over to the sewers. This is where they'll be sewn and constructed using uh, the information that's on our unique PLM. So we have tablets set up at each sewing station. It's gonna say who it's for, when it's due, and all the information they need to construct that properly. And since we're here in your micro factory, we do have a sewer on standby and we're gonna watch all that happen. Take a look at them. For more information on Cornet, Gerber, and Bella Canvas, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon to never miss new content just like this.